So this command shows a command that's found in the sync pack on the sync pack 2 tab. And this command allows you to station along a profile. So it's going to use the actual uh, length of the profile to do the stationing rather than the horizontal distance. So this provides a workaround to be able to let Civil 3D do it. The first thing I want to do is I need to create the profile that's going to represent the length of the profile. And I do that by creating a profile stationing using the profile stationing command, which is found on the alignments profiles panel. I can then select the profile I want to use. I'm going to select this one here. And then it's going to ask me for a name. I could also use the same name as the alignment. So I'm going to use this pipe profile station. I'm here. I can set my style. I can put a description in what layer I want it to be on. I can then hit OK. And then it's going to create this profile. Um, it's red. And this elevation represents the, the distance from the beginning of the profile to this point here. So now that I have that, I can then replace my labels. So the first thing I want to do is set up my styles to include something that I can replace the values with. So I made mine pipe, station, placeholder. So I'm going to replace that with the actual elevation of this profile. So I'm going to do that by coming up here to select the profile stationing replace labels. It's going to ask me to select the profile view. And then I can select the text value, what my reference profile, and then the profile to change. And then I can also do a station precision. Once I hit OK, it's going to go through and replace the values. And now I can see that my horizontal station starts to deviate from my pipe station, which is what to be, is to be expected. Um, it also follows curves, vertical curves. So if you have a vertical curve, it'll account for that as well. When you run the command, you just want to make sure that your profile is within the limits of the alignment. Um, if it goes past it, in this case, the blue line is the end of the alignment. It won't run properly, and it'll error out. So just make sure it's within the limits. The profile is within the limits of the alignment. So oftentimes, I also want to change it for other labels. So for plan view, I could go ahead and select it, the label set that I need to change, and then I can come in and I can actually set that to profile label sets. But sometimes there may be multiples of those. And the sync pack has a command called set reference text target. And that allows you to select multiple labels or label sets at the same time. And then it'll go through each one of them and let you set the reference text. So maybe you had a station offset labels that you needed to include this information in. This would be one way to replace that data. So I can go to pipe profile stationing, because that's the one I want to include. Hit OK. And then it's going to go through and replace that text value for us. For it. Now this works not only with pipe profile stationing, but it works with all types of labels that the Civil 3D API allows. And so this video shows the profile stationing commands found in this impact.